This just in this evening, a new Quinnipiac poll finds only 37% of New Yorkers approve of the job Mayor Adams is doing. 43% disapprove. The mayor responded today saying the polls, well, they go up and down. We're just going to continue to do what we do, and that's produced for New Yorkers. Uh, I am really pleased with the administration and where they are, and we're going to continue to stay focused, no distractions, and grind. The poll found only a third of voters are satisfied with the way things are going in the city. That is one of the lowest satisfaction levels recorded by a Quinnipiac poll since 2003. I feel like we need to acknowledge. I give a glory and praise and honor to the most. I'm going to get into it, man. Covering this topic because uh, I haven't seen too many people covering it at all, you know. So right here it says New York City Mayor Eric Adams inducted as Master Mason during city mansion ceremony. So this is what this is. Ha this happened this week. So it says the city's police commissioner and police department chief also installed as master masons. So as you can see, like I always say, you can't be in these positions, man, unless you're one of them. And the masons advance the kingdom of Satan, man. Now <laughs> you see that uh, there's a lot of problems going on with New York now. And number one, well, of course, we got the crime, but. Another major issue is the uh, the migrant, the immigrant issue, you know, it's coming in, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, you know. But <laughs> you know, this mayor when he first came on, man, he, he, it was like a year ago. He said something that struck me, man. That's why, I, and I knew he was in trouble when he said it. He said something along the lines like, uh, "He's bringing <laughs> New York City's been missing swagger, and he's bringing swagger back to the city." Yeah, you know, he said we in trouble, man. What the hell are we gonna do with swagger, man? We looking for justice, man. You know, but we not you're not gonna get that with these guys, man. You know, what the hell are we gonna do with swagger, man? You know, you can't blame all the problems just on him because these guys, you know, already have an agenda set forth, man. They, you know, these guys know what they're doing already. You know, the crime is gonna continue. The same problem is gonna continue over and over again because they want it to continue. You know, once again, these are not the wise men. You know. The wise men are to be telling you to get out of these, these Greek frats and Freemasonry. You know, Ricky Smiley's not telling you that. Shaquille O'Neal's not telling you that. Steve Harvey's not telling you that. You know, all these guys, that, you know, why? Because they participate in the same thing. You know, now, I'm, I'm not trying to diminish the rest of the Ten Commandments, but you would think that what's number one would be something of uttermost importance. And that commandment is, you know, to have no other gods before me. And what these guys do, they bow to the fallen. You know, now you see these guys, you know, you, you know, you're going to see him sit up there and he's going, you know what I mean, we watch the interviews, he, he's just going through the motions, man. These guys, even with the last meal, the, the Blasio, they go through the motions, man, you know, because they already know that there's an agenda set forth, man. And it, there's nothing that these guys could do, you know. If the media wants them to want to make him look good, they can make him look good, you know, but... <laughs> Look, the agenda is already set forth with these guys, and they're just following the path, man. You know, and I'm going to talk about that in a second as to why, you know, you know, th 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 this migrant issue is not going to be solved, man. You know, oh man. But first, we're going to get into some scripture, man. You know, because you can see, like, <laughs> yeah, these guys, you guys are not, these guys are not allowed to talk about no white supremacy, man. You in masonry, you in Greek frats. You can't talk about no white supremacy. You're barred from that. So you bowing down to them. And you bowing down to these beans. You know? So right now we're going to get into some scripture. And we're going to show you what the scripture says, man, about these guys who are all, time and time again, I already identified who these people are in 1 Maccabees 111. Psalms 106, um, 34 through 42. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Most High commanded them. This was during the time of Saul. Saul didn't subdue them, you know? This is what it's talking about right here. You remember the Most High told Saul to go, you know, hey, sub sub subdue these people. But he didn't do it. 35, but, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. What does that remind you of? 1 Maccabees chapter 1 verse 11 once again. And then 1 Maccabees um, chapter 1 verse 15, it says, look, they sold out to them to do all manner of mischief. You know, this is what they did. You know, 
Come, let us go make a covenant with the heathen, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. This is who it's talking about right here. They mingle among them and learn their works. This is what they're doing. 36, and serve their idols, which were a snare unto them, man. They're serving the fallen angels. You know what a snare is? A snare is a trap. That's something that somebody puts down. That Look, it's not going to get you now, but eventually it's going to come back to get you. You know, for example, it's like a um, like a mouse trap. You got the cheese in there. Sometimes that mouse will go in there. He'll take the cheese, and not, nothing will happen. But you keep putting that cheese down there. Eventually, that trap is gonna get them. So this is what it's talking about. Like it was a snare onto them. You bowing down to them is a snare onto you, man. It's a trap because once you bow down to them, these other nations, and you go in there, you take those oaths. These other nations is like, yes, we can continue to keep conquering them because you've given up your power. You know, so this is what it's talking about here. And serve the idols, which were a sneer onto you. It's a trap, man. Throughout the scriptures, man, Balaam and Balak, that conversation, they was trying to, you know, get these guys to fall. Like he was asking, inquiring, look, how can we get these guys to fall? He said, look, man, these guys could curse themselves. We just need to lay the trap for them to do it. 37, yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, man. You see that? They sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land that and the land was polluted with blood, man. This place is polluted with innocent blood, man. You know, Abel was innocent. The scripture says that the blood of the innocent cries out continually unto the most high. You know? This place is polluted with innocent blood. They sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto the devil. So this is why I look, man. You know, anybody that's going in onto these things, man, you know, look, they pretty much, they're selfish because they're looking out for themselves because you know what you have to do when you go into these organizations, you know? But when you serve in the Most High, you don't have to do these things. So you got to ask yourself, why would anybody want to go in on, onto these organizations, man? And, and, and do this, because sooner or later, you know, there's going to come a time when you have to do these things. You know, this is what the scripture was saying, man. Back then, this is what they were doing. They're doing the same thing in this modern day time. You know, so anybody that, that goes into these things is like is selfish because this is what they have to do. They, they have to give somebody up, you know, and these are not the customs and practices of the practices of the Most High. These are the, the, the customs of the other nations, the Canaanites. They sacrificed their sons and daughters and shed innocent blood. But everything that they were doing, like I said, in verse 36 was a snare onto them. This is really working against them because it's a trap. Oh, man. The blood of the innocent, man. This, the scriptures are saying it right here. These are the blood of the innocent. Uh, and why are they doing this? For their own selfish gain. And this is why the woman that left the Greek frat, that she left her testimony, you know, um, I, I have the video on that. She said, man, some people love slavery. And, you know, why? Because you don't have to do all this stuff with the most high. You don't have to do this stuff. Well, why do they want to do this stuff? Because they want to elevate quick. You know, they want a quick come up. You know, they want to be accepted among the ranks of the other nations. And you, and when you do this, when you, when you want to, when you go in there and you sell out them, you have to prove yourself to them. And this is what you have to do. You have to give up innocent blood, man, because they're corrupt. All right, verse thirty-nine. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring. With their own adventures went a whoring man after <laughs> after these other nations man a whoring man selling yourselves out doing all manner of wickedness man oh man a whoring you fiending you know to get to these uh to these guys on the top level and you'll do anything man this is what the scriptures talking about that you you're gonna whore yourselves out to do it you're gonna do whatever you're gonna give up your, um, your, 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 you know your people around you that's innocent just to get around them, only for them to do the same thing back to you, to blood sacrifice you. Oh, man. <laughs> Verse 40, man. Therefore was the wrath of the Most High kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. He gave you into the hand of these people. And they that hated them rule over them. Let me read that again, man. And they that hated them rule over them like i said right here these people hate you <laughs> you see and you continue to keep selling out to them they tolerate you because you sell you sold out to them you know 
these guys don't want to endure. They just going to want to they want to constantly assimilate. And the scriptures is telling you right here, and they that hated them ruled over them. But you continue to go in there and sell out. They don't want to endure, man. This is why I say once again, these are not the wise men and these are not the strongest ones, you know? They just seem strong because, you know, they have they they're backed by, you know, the you know, people with power. But in the eyes of the most high, it's not them. Verse 42, the enemies also oppressed them and were brought into subjection under their hands. This is where we at right now. <laughs> the enemies also oppressed them and they were brought into subjection under their hand, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is why you got Kanye West still complaining about, you know, so-and-so still got all this power, even though he's a billionaire in the system. He's complaining about the power that they have over them still, you know. Oh, man. And these guys continue to keep selling out to them. They that hated them ruled over them, man. It tells you right here. They that hated them ruled over them. But they continue to keep selling out to them. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm keeping enduring, man. Damn that. You know? And these guys love to talk about race, man. But they, they like I said, they don't care. Because like I said, if you would, and, and these people that's ruling over them, they know they full of crap. Because why? You can't say, yo, you, you for the black community, you for this, you for that, you for your people, but you sacrifice somebody that's innocent in your family. You, it's no way that you could care for somebody else or people that you don't even know when you blood sacrifice somebody that's innocent in your family. And they know they know that, you know, that, that's the measuring stick for them. They know that these guys don't really care and the problem is not going to be solved, man. And they know once they take these oaths, they continue, they're going to continue to keep ruling over them. Look, they've been doing the same pattern over and over again. These guys have an agenda. We don't, you know? We coming with you with just the truth, the raw truth, telling you the truth. These guys are going to continue to keep lying to you. We don't got, we don't got no agenda. They do, you know? This is why they join these groups. Men love, like the scripture says, men love darkness rather than light. You know, you love these lodges. You love these, um, you know, these secret societies. Why? Because their works and their deeds are evil. Everything they do is evil. So everything they, 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 they do is in secret because it's evil. We don't have to do anything, you know, in secret. Everything we do is in the light, man. You know? You know? And we have no reason to lie to you. <laughs> and we tell you the truth, man. Like D.L. Hughley, man. He love to talk about race, man. Like I said, these guys that's already in this stuff, they love to talk about the race stuff. Man. But these guys, look, they don't listen to these guys, man. Because they're not serious and they sold out, you know? So Martin Luther King, you didn't have to, for example, you, have, you didn't have to march from Mont, Mont, uh, Selma to Montgomery, you know? You, you don't have to do that. You don't have to sit down in a restaurant and let people pour ketchup and mustard and salt over you to prove a point. You don't have to do all that dumb crap. Because these are not, we're not the wise men, you know? Like I said, you engrave error when you're going into these, um, these, 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 these fraternities, man. This is what they were doing back then, you know. They were bowing down to the fallen angels, man. And once you do that, like I said in, in the, prior, in the beginning, these guys, it's a snare and a trap for you because they know they could rule over you, you know. You're never going to rise above them. Have you done it yet? No, you haven't. And you're never, you're never going to, you know. You know, like I said, we know the two thirds don't care. You know, and, I, and that's, this is not for the two thirds. You know, of course. You know, but uh, you know, and as far as this, this this immigrant issue going, they don't want to solve this immigrant problem. You know, and I'm gonna give you an example. I did um I did a video on this woman. Oh, matter of fact, it was it was the Britney the Britney uh Murphy story. I think yeah, Britney Murphy. And, you know, the chick from Eight Mile. Remember. That I did a video on her t t saying that, look, man, she was also targeted. And there was this woman that worked at Homeland Security. Her name is Julia Davis. And this was years ago this happened. She was working at Home Homeland Security and she reported, you know, an issue, a discrepancy showing you that, look, man, you know, there was, uh, they were letting the immigrants through the, through the border on purpose, you know. And when she reported it, they, they threw on the terrorist watch list because of it. You know, because of this problem, you know, she because of the problem that she reported, you know, she was doing She was actually doing her job correctly. And they threw on the terrorist watches because she was important. She was um, 
She reported the immigrant issue. You know, there was a, at the border that they were letting them through intentionally. So, as we, where we, where we stand today, you see the immigrants are coming into New York. And I'm telling you right now, they don't want to solve the issue, man. They never wanted to solve the issue, you know, because like I said, this is the old story and they, 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 they try to sweep the story under the rug. You can see that somebody you know, was reporting the problem and the issues and they threw on the terrorist watch list because of it. Actually doing a job. And that's kind of like the story I did uh, with Risa Kanege, somebody that was also doing her job and they just threw on the terrorist watch list because of it. You know, she reported discrepancies, you know, at her job. So, oh, man. So, like I said, as you can see now, we got the migrants coming in New York. Everybody's complaining. Ah, da, 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 the migrants are oh, ruining New York City. They already have an agenda set forth, man. You know? And everybody, everybody every, like I said, these are not the wise men. You know, that's going to tell you the truth. Because they bow, to the, they bow to the fallen. And they don't want you to have peace here, man. You know? It shows you that in the, in the 24 points of the, L, the protocols of Zion, the Ella Protocols of Zion, well, their job is to just keep the chaos going so they can keep generating money. And you got what? You got kids coming in that's undocumented. They could be snatched up easily. Hell, they snatch kids up here all the time that's, that, that, that grew up here. What do you think is going to happen to those kids coming in? You know, you don't think they, they, they monitor them and they're they going to know where they're going to be at? Like I said, they, 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 Julia Davis worked at Homeland Security in California, she reported a discrepancy at the border that they were letting them in on purpose and they threw on the watch list because of it. So, you, and, and at this point, man, it's getting to the point where I like, man, the, the, I mean, these people, sometimes it's just like, uh, these people, you gotta let them suffer, man, because they don't wanna hear, they don't wanna listen. I mean, I, hey, it is what it is, man. You know? But let's do this video, man. You know, to show you, man. This is uh, this is what's going on, man. While this is my first time to trip to Israel, as mayor of New York City, I have visited twice before. Each time, I felt a deeper connection to the <laughs> to the country, the people, the food, the cult, and, and the culture. And I look forward to deepening that bond even further. And these guys are gone, man. They're gone. They're gone. Every every last one of them, man. They all gotta bow down. They're not gonna. Su they're not gonna suffer like me, like, like us out here, man. You see, that's why they. You know, as soon as they they say something, you know, that's not even bad. They gotta apologize quickly, you know, because they that hated you ruled over you. But you wanted to go in there, you know, and and, and take these oaths. So the Most High gave you into the hands of these people, man. I mean, this is where we at right now. Still in this modern day time. You know? You know? They tell you you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do that. Like I said, these people that's already in these in these, in these organizations is not gonna tell you to leave. You know? <laughs> I mean, you wanna keep repeating the same process over and over again. But the why, like, like, you know, and the scriptures speak of that, man. They, they of the world hear the world. You know? So when the world speaks, people listen, gonna listen to them. But those that have the most high, when we speak, they don't hear us, man. And you, 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 you think by selling a continue to sell out, it's gonna make the situation better? It's not. You know, the scriptures it's, it's blatantly tells you, they that hated you rule over you. He puts you into these hands because you went and made covenants with them. You wanted to mingle around them. Oh man, it's all praises to the most high, man. Hopefully this was edifying, man. You know, so when you see the problems continuing, hey, just know that, like, just know what it is, man. See these guys get up on there, on on there, and they talking to you, and they filibustering you, and they don't want to answer questions. Just know what it is, man. You know. Oh man. Yeah, that's it, man.